welcome back to my YouTube channel. So because Disneyland Paris is reopening very soon, I thought I'd share with you my top favorite rides. I tried to narrow it down <laughs> to five rides. It was very hard because I do love all of the rides. But um, I think these rides you definitely have to do when you are in Disneyland Paris. And if you are going soon, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm not going anytime soon, I think. I really hope that we can visit Disneyland Paris maybe next year. Um, but I do wish everyone who goes soon that you have an amazing time and um, yeah, let me know. And if you are maybe going for the first time, then definitely do these rides. And yeah, if you're new here on my channel, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey. And I make a lot of beauty related videos, lifestyle and vlogs. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started. Okay, so it was very hard to pick like a number five because I was thinking about two rides that I really love. So I'm just gonna mention them both. Um, but in number five, I have Crush Coaster and I have Pirates. Crush Coaster is in the Hollywood Studios Park and it's a roller coaster that is turning. And when we went on the first time, we didn't know what to expect. And we first thought like, oh wow, this is such a beautiful ride. Like you saw Nemo and all little lights. And then all of a sudden, we went up and into a big, big, black room and it dropped like crazy turned like crazy but it is so much fun and um, if you have motion sickness this is not the best ride for you but yeah it is just a lot of fun i will say that this ride is always very busy and unfortunately you can't get a fast pass for this so if you want to ride this do it in the morning and that is with all of these rides um, if it is a popular ride, definitely do it as early as possible so it is not that busy and you don't have to wait that long. And then like I said, Pirates of the Caribbean is another great ride. This ride is in the Classic Disney Park and this is like such a beautiful ride. It's also a quite long ride. Um, it's not that you're on and off so you can really enjoy it. This ride is inside and um, the weather in Paris is always very unpredictable. So if you're going on a rainy day, you can definitely do this ride. Um, I think it's amazing how they made everything. You really feel like you are in that world of Pirates of the Caribbean. Also in the beginning of the ride, you have a restaurant and I would love to eat there one day. Like you can watch the ride from there. And it's very, it's a very dark ride, I would say. But I do think also smaller children will enjoy it because it's not that scary. And you have also a few drops, which are really fun. And I always think that makes a ride a little bit more interesting. You know, if you have like a few drops, for example, like a small world, is a very quiet ride but in pirates you have like a little bit of action so i really enjoy that also on the end of the ride you have jack sparrow which looks very real um yeah i think this is a great ride that you definitely have to do if you are uh, visiting disneyland paris then in fourth i have phantom manor phantom manor is such a great ride um, it already looks beautiful from the outside, the whole atmosphere. You can also walk around it and uh, also you can read the story there. Um, yeah, I think the whole atmosphere is great and sometimes, especially with Halloween, I think, you can also meet Mickey in his like phantom outfit, which is really fun. Then when you go into the ride, you have like a huge elevator that goes down and you'll hear like the story there. And then the ride is very relaxed, I think, like it goes very slow. And you go through all of these different rooms and I absolutely love it. It's very dark, so I guess uh, smaller children can be scared. I am scared sometimes even. The last time we were there was in 2019 and they just changed it a bit. And I think they did a great job. I love like all of the holograms, is that how you call it? And you have like ghosts dancing and um, all different kind of music. I forgot to mention, but I believe Pirates and Phantom both don't have a, a fast pass line, but um, you don't really need it. I think Phantom always has like a small queue. 
So yeah, definitely go do this ride. Then in third is Peter Pan's flight. And I adore this ride so, so much. I think this is like a very cute ride. You are like in a little boat going over uh, London, like going to Neverland and yeah, it is so cute. And this is also definitely um, for smaller children. I think they would really enjoy this. I have to say the wait times for Peter Pan's flight are always quite long, but you do have a fast pass for this. Um, so if you don't want to wait that long, definitely get that fast pass. And you can get that free. I got that question also, but you can get this free. You just have to scan your ticket and then you get the time that you have to come back and then the wait is not that long but definitely do this if you love like cute little rides and um, I think this is so magical and yeah I just adore this a lot and this ride you can find in Fantasyland then on my number two spot the only ride that is in the Hollywood Studios Park and that is Ratatouille Ratatouille is again a ride that is inside so if it's raining again it's perfect to do this one and um, the wait times are always a bit longer for this but you can get again a fast pass for this one so again if you don't want to wait um, go get a fast pass usually we also usually we do ratatouille right in the morning um, which i would recommend for like the busier rides that you do it right away in the morning um, especially if you are staying in like a disney hotel then you can enter the parks more early than the regular guests so that's a tip for you. But yes, Ratatouille is such a great ride. Again, the whole atmosphere when you're waiting for the actual ride, it's great. Then you're like in a little mouse with four people, I believe. And you get like a 3D glass. You're going into different rooms and um, it's like a 3D experience also with water. And yeah, I just adore this. It's so much fun. Unfortunately, you can see it really well. I filmed it, but obviously you need the 3D glass to actually see something. Everything is big. It's like you are the size of a mouse, which is really fun. And yeah, I think this is a ride that you definitely have to do. I believe this ride is only in Disneyland Paris. So if you went to one of the other parks, um, then th this one you definitely have to ride. And this is my favorite ride in the Hollywood Studios Park. Um, so much fun. Then my number one ride in Disneyland Paris is obviously Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain is a great roller coaster and it's also one of the longest roller coasters I've been on. Um, it's absolutely great. First you go into a dark tunnel uh, to the little island. You have like different drops and yeah, I think this is like the most fun ride in Disneyland Paris. This ride is obviously always very busy. So I would again recommend to get a fast pass if you can get one. But I have to say, I do think this ride is worth waiting for. If the queue is a bit longer, I still would really recommend um, riding this because it's definitely worth it. And I think this ride is also quite suitable for younger children yeah it is a roller coaster and it does go quite fast but it doesn't have like a looping or anything like that so these were my favorite rides in Disneyland Paris please let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite um, are you going to Disneyland Paris soon let me know in the comments down below and um, I hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give the huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!